Chapter 6 Multi-Engine Aircraft Weight and Balance Computations Introduction Weight and Balance Computations for Small Multi-Engine Airplanes are similar to those discussed for single-engine airplanes. See Figure 6-1 for an example of weight and balance data for a typical light twin-engine airplane. The airplane in this example was weighed to determine its basic empty weight EW, an empty weight center of gravity, EWCG. The weighing conditions and results are, weight with fuel drained and oil full, right wheel scales, 1,084 pounds, tear 8 pounds left wheel scales, 1,148 pounds, tear 8 pounds nose wheel scales, 1,202 pounds, tear 14 pounds determine the loaded CG first, add the weights indicated by the individual scales and then subtract the tear weights to determine the BU. Next, using the BU and EWCG, the loaded weight and CG of the aircraft can be determined with data from figure 6-2, using a chart such as the one in figure 6-3. The aircraft is loaded as shown, fuel 140 gallons, 840 pounds front seats, 320 pounds row 2 seats, 310 pounds forward baggage, 100 pounds aft baggage, 90 pounds chart method using weight, arm, and moments make a chart showing the weight, arm, and moments of the airplane and its load. The loaded weight for this FLGHT is 5,064 pounds, and the CG is located at 42.47 inches after the datum. To determine that the weight and CG are within the allowable range, refer to the CG range chart in figure 6-4. Draw a line vertically upward from 42.47 inches from the datum and one horizontally from 5,064 pounds. These lines cross inside the envelope, showing that the airplane is properly loaded. Determining the CG and percentage of mean aerodynamic cord, MAC, refer again to figures 6 to 2 and 6 to 3. The loaded CG is 42.47 inches after the datum. The MAC is 61.6 inches long. The LEMAC is located at station 20.1. The CG is 42.47 to 20.1 equals 22.37 inches aft of LEMAC. Use the formula in figure 6.5 to find the CG in percent MAC. The loaded CG is located at 36.3% MAC. The chart method using weight and moment indexes as mentioned in the previous chapter, anything that can be done to make careful pre-flight planning easier makes flying safer. Many manufacturers furnish charts in the pilot's operating handbook slash aircraft flight manual, PO slash AFM, that use weight and moment indexes rather than weight, arm, and moments. The charts also help reduce errors by including tables of moment indexes for the various weights. Consider the loading for this particular flight cruise fuel flow equals 16 gallons per ho estimated time on route equals 2 hours, 10 minutes reserve fuel equals 45 minutes equals 12 gallons total required fuel equals 47 gallons the pilot completes a chart like the one in figure 6-6 using moment indexes from tables in figure 6-7 and 6-8. The moments divided by 100 in the index column are found in the charts in figures 6 to 7 through 6 to 9. If the exact weight is not in the chart, interpolate between the weights that are included. When a weight is greater than any of those shown in the charts, add the moment indexes for a combination of weights to get that which is desired. For example, to get the moments divided by 100 for the 320 pounds in the front seats, add the moment index for 100 pounds, 105, to that for 220 pounds, 231. This gives the moment index of 336 for 320 pounds in the front seats. Use the moment limits versus weight envelope in figure 610 to determine if the weight and balance conditions are within allowable limits for both takeoff and landing at the destination. The moment limits versus weight envelope is an enclosed area on a graph of three parameters. The diagonal line representing the moment divided by 100 crosses the horizontal line representing the weight at the vertical line representing the CG location in inches after the datum. When the lines cross inside the envelope, the aircraft is loaded within its weight and CG limits. Takeoff, dash 3,781 pounds and 4,296 moment divided by 100 landing, dash 3,571 pounds and 4,050 moment divided by 100. Locate the moment divided by 100 diagonal line for 4,296 and follow it down until it crosses the horizontal line for 3,781 pounds. These lines cross inside the envelope at the vertical line for a CG location of 114, 113.6, inches after the datum. The maximum allowable takeoff weight is 3,900 pounds, and this airplane weighs 3,781 pounds. The CG limits for 3,781 pounds are 109.8 to 117.5. The CG of 114, 113.6, inches falls within these allowable limits.